Yeah, I'm gonna take online quizzes for this stream. Uh, Sarah gave me the idea in chat, Sarah Fang, in the Discord server. By the way, if you're not in the Discord server, you should join it. If you were a Pokemon, which one would you be? Don't send me, like, shitty ones. Like, I want, like, a good quiz, okay? Like, this better be expansive. Like, this better include all 5,000 Pokemon. Oh, this is, well, this is a simple question. Okay. At the start of your journey, Professor Oak says, do you see the Pokeball on the table? It's called a Pokeball. So it's basically which, uh, which Pokemon I would pick. Well, I'll tell you this right now, okay? This is going to anger some people. I hate Squirtle. I think Squirtle is the worst out of, out of these options for sure. Out of the first three, Squirtle is like the one you just don't take. It's boring. In Gen 1, there are so many water types, dude. There's so many cooler water types. You got Gyarados. You got Starmie. I mean, there's just so many. I am of the opinion that Bulbasaur is the best starter, okay? He's the cutest. He's the most unique. Like, this is just an orange lizard. This is just a blue turtle. This thing is fucking unique. This is like a made-up creature. What the hell is this? It's like a dinosaur thing, but it's got like a plant on its back. It's very- it's more interesting than the other two. Charmander is pretty cool when he becomes Charizard. And Blastoise is alright. But Bulbasaur is the coolest, like, of the first stages. So I'm gonna pick Bulbasaur. Okay, so I have to lie on this because I don't want people to know what my actual sign is. So I'm gonna pick the one that I think is the coolest. Um, cancer. I like crabs. Taking over the world is serious business. What special skill are you going to use to make it all yours? What the fuck? So this is implying I want to take over the world, which is not something that, <laughs> that I want. <laughs> what? Is that what happens? How is this a Pokemon related question? You don't have a choice. You have to take over the world. I don't understand. So what skill am I going to use to make it all mine? I mean, it's kind of funny to be like, I'm going to take over the world via my skills in gardening. That doesn't make any sense. I guess psychic ability. I like psychic uh, uh, characters in, in video games, but especially Pokemon. And if I were a superhero, I'd want some sort of psychic um, ability, maybe teleportation or even just like, you know, psychic powers. Tax fraud? Was that one of the options? <laughs> What's more diverse than types of Pokemon is types of people in the world. How do you fit in? I'm a bit different. I'm built different, chat. Badges are more than just tokens. Which one do you like the best? Okay, out of aesthetics? Uh, Marsh is fucking lame. Anybody who picks Marsh is just a loser. Volcano is kind of sick. Soul is pretty cool. Although I don't know what the hell Earth- I think I'm gonna go Soul. I'm a different breed. Yeah, I'm quirky. I'm quirky though. I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> Your personality can change with time and experience. Where are you in your personal evolution? Uh, constantly changing my old... I don't think that's true. I, I honestly feel like I have kind of always been my true self. I've had, like, um, uh, growth in terms of how I think. Like, maybe how mature I am. But I think I've always kind of been the same sort of guy. Always been kind of a wacky guy. Flirting is a science. When meeting someone you like, do you tell them or play hard to get? Um, it's a weird question. Uh, I mean, I guess like in all relationships that I had, in, in cur including my current one, I guess I'm pretty upfront. Like if I like someone, you know, I just ask them. You know what I mean? Like you just, I don't think I. I feel like playing hard to get is just kind of stupid. C it could create some awkward scenarios. You want to be upfront and honest. The secret to a happy and s I don't I don't get how the fuck this is related to Pokemon. By the way, how does that question determine what Pokemon I am? Does Alakazam have more sex than Pikachu? Like what what's what is this determining? The secret to a happy and successful life is definitely spreading love and being happy. If you pick using my powers to be as useful, hard, come on. I mean, those are both good things, I guess. You've reached level five, which team do you choose? Oh, this is tough. <laughs> I'm not playing. Yeah, I mean, what's the question in relation to? What? Um, okay, well, definitely not team Valor. That's fucking lame. Anybody who picks that, come on. I might pick I'm not playing. I don't know. It's hard for me to pick. I like both Articuno and Zapdos. Valor is lame. It's like cocky. Like narcissists, like aggressive personalities go for team Valor. Mystic, you're kind of like, it's like a high intelligence. Like, oh, I, I'm i smarter than you. I'm mystic. I've always felt like Zapdos was kind of the coolest of the three birds. It's the weekend. What are you doing? Um, Yeah, I'm probably, real, well, I'm not relaxing why does it have to be outside i mean honestly maybe it's like catching up on work usually on the weekends i'm like making a video or streaming what animal do you feel most connected to probably a cat i've heard that a lot of people call me a cat they think i act like a cat um that's probably the most accurate one people say i'm very cat like yeah i'm like a cat boy now tell me are you a boy or a girl i'm a boy which one of these four elements are you attracted to the most um not fire i think earth if we were to ask your best friends to describe your personality, which word would they definitely use to describe you? <laughs> you think I have friends. Chat thinks I'm feisty. People are all saying feisty. Did I pick feisty? 
Yeah, I guess you guys are my friends, right? So, I mean, I, I mean, I can't pick this one myself. I, I see that most people are saying feisty. Some are saying mysterious. It's like a half, half between feisty and mysterious. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> well, I, I guess I'm definitely not outgoing. All right, we'll do mysterious. Yeah, sure. Uh, which, what pattern would you spread all over your life? Pick the one you like best. Spread all over my life? Well, I'm not a fucking lumberjack. And this is ugly as hell. Probably the stripes. And the floral is just too extreme. That's like grandma mode. You whip out the cane and you start walking with this, with this kind of print. I'm gonna pick stripes. You app this, this quiz is fucking long. You absolutely can't stand it when people what? Are mean? <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Are mean, don't know how to drive. Don't know how to drive? Why would that piss me off? Forget how to text you back. That doesn't anger me. Have a negative. Uh, this one, I think excluding others is the biggest on this one. That's just kind of rude, man. That's like fucked up. Don't exclude others. It's messed up, man. Phone, keys, and wallet are the obvious ones, but you also never leave home without what? <laughs> without what other thing? My um, my dildo collection. I never leave home without my dildo. Where's the dildo option? Mints and or gum. Chapstick. Out of all of these, water bottle would be the most uh, apt, I think. I do sometimes carry around a water bottle or a drink while I'm walking around. At least when I used to walk around campus, I would carry like a water bottle. Pokemon is a fun game, but let's not forget playing cards. What's your favorite card game? Out of these, Go Fish is fun with friends. I don't know what the fuck spit is. Where's Swallow? Where's the Swallow option? I'm more of a Swallower. <laughs> I'm gonna pick Solitaire. I'm Chansey? What? What the fuck does that mean? This is not accurate at all. I, this makes no sense. This makes no sense. Does, do I come off as a Chansey? Chansey's like a, a Pokemon that your mom would get. Did this quiz just call me a mom? A rare and elusive Pokemon that is said to bring happiness to, th to those who manage to get it. They're describing me as if I'm an STD. Of those who manage to get it, as if I'm like a, a disease. A natural born healer, your priority is the well-being of those around you. Pain and suffering are the absolute worst, and you hate to see anyone have negative experience you're full. I mean, I'm not gonna toot my own horn and say that this is my personality. I mean, I feel like most people think that. You know, you wanna help the people around you, right? This doesn't really tell me much. This fucking sucks. So, we've learned so far that I am a Chansey. If I were a Pokemon, I would be a Chansey. I really hate that.